sheep farmer Donny Anderson and his family have been custodians and farmers in Glenismole Valley and the Dodder River catchment area of the Dublin Mountains for generations. He says it is good news that the state has acquired this 2,000 hectare mountaintop site from Nama and is now going to concentrate on a broad range of nature restoration projects to boost biodiversity here. Hopefully it won't change too much for what we have been doing for generations here. And sure, they're talking about rewetting. Um, sure, it's a good thing, I suppose. And once they leave us here to graze a few sheep, the same as we always did, sure, we'll be happy enough and we'll work with them. This is the first time an entire river catchment area has been targeted for ecological restoration. And today, International Biodiversity Day, two government ministers turned up to kickstart the project. It's good for nature. It'll save us a fortune in floodworks in the Lower Dodder because we can hold the waters up here better and also just lifts on spirits. Like we live in a city where this is the Dodder. You can walk from here down to Rings End. It's one of the most natural, beautiful green rivers in the world, in a capital. And we're restoring it, making nature rich. Studies from the UK show, have shown that uh, foresting woodland like that and the gullies uh, will slow down the water, improve water quality, should have a significant effect. In addition to protecting the river gullies, the planned measures include bog restoration, environmental cleanup, control of invasive species, management of heather and bracken and restricting unauthorised access. 60,000 trees are going to be planted in these woodland gully areas alone. It's going to change it completely and the idea is to ape what it used to look like. And it's going to extend the Wicklow Mountains National Park right into Dublin. George Lee, RTE News at Glenis Mole in County Dublin.